Hello everybody and welcome to Lake Bonioni Rock Resort. I'm here with the entire team. Wave everybody! Woo! We've been working together for a few days making awesome drone footage and photos and you've been my uh, personal assistant. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you were the executive drone cameraman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now I'm heading to... Where am I heading? Solo. Huh? Solo. Rwanda. 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 Yeah. I don't actually don't know where I'm going. It's not a good sign. <laughs> heading to the border to Rwanda. So I'm going to say goodbye to these amazing people. Bye. 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 bye, bye. How am I going to get up there? <laughs> okay. See you next time, everybody. Bye. <laughs> So it just rained this morning and I was a little bit nervous because some parts of this road is just a tiny bit rough but I see now that we are already completely dry again. Will you just look at these fields? Hi! Almost look completely vertical and people work up on those fields. Once again I can just say that I have the deepest respect for Ugandan farm workers. What a paradise this has been, Lake Bunyoni. So I am heading as far as I can towards the Rwandan border and then I'm going to stay there and then cross the border tomorrow. And as I always say, I am so happy that I'm here during the dry season because I would be dead scared going down these, these roads in the mud and the rain and everything. Lake Bunyoni means place of many little birds. It is located in southwestern Uganda, in the corner where Uganda meets Rwanda oh, wow. and the Democratic oh, Republic nice. of Congo. Too nice. The lake lies in a dramatic setting with steep hills rising straight from the lake and has 29 islands, including Punishment Island, where the Bakiga tribe used to leave unmarried pregnant girls. Look at this place. concentrate on riding because I have to enjoy the view. Hi! Oh wow! Have you noticed just how green it is here compared to so many of the other places that I've been riding through? This is just a little green paradise on earth. Hello. Hello. Musungu. <laughs> musungu, Musungu. I'm always being called Musungu because I am a Musungu. Oh, Shipati is nice. Oh my god. Will you just look at those poor pigs? Two pigs being tied up on the back of a Buddha. Ah, uh, you know what? They have had a much better life than any of the pigs that lives on the big farms in Denmark. And now they have a shitty route up to town, but it's not very far. And then they're going to be killed shortly after. So they're not going to go through a horrible transport through Europe or into a massive slaughterhouse. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, so imagine that's your life, even as a kid sitting there hammering rocks. Look at that, tiny kids. And mom is working there. Oof. Those are some rough living conditions. The Kyoto Stone Curry was closed by the government due to safety and environmental issues. This unfortunately left a high number of people in poverty. Oh, look at these kids. Ay. 
That is painful to watch. And many of them are now working illegally, hammering rocks with bare feet, no gloves or protection for their eyes. All right, we have arrived in Kabale. I want to hit Kabale town because I think it's really nice here and then just do oh, <laughs> a little bit of quick shopping. Hello, sir. I'm looking for a micro SD card. All right, guys. I think it's about time that I leave this town and head out for where is it exactly I'm going? Kisoro. So I managed to do all of my shopping. It was mainly data that I needed for my cameras. So I bought myself a nice big flash drive so that I can record some new lovely videos for you guys. Okay, I better wait. We have not only trucks on those sides, we also have cows and lots of children. Nice bike. Thank you. Thanks for me. No. <laughs> Why not? Thank you. Thank you very much. I needed that. No, he gave it to me. It was a gift for me. <laughs> I thought he gave me a gift. Thank you. I take this, you take this. I want to Sure. You're welcome. Look what's in store for us. Look right there. How does anybody work there without falling down? That is unbelievable. I can't get over how they do it. It's amazing. <laughs> Respect! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh wow.
Hello. Ah. I can go this way. Ah, oh, thank you. Kisoro District. Oh, wow. I think we're gonna go down there. <gasps> oh my god, look at those mountains over there. I didn't spot them at first. Oh wow. Ooh, look at that mountain, isn't that just beautiful? Mount Muhabura is an inactive volcano on the border between Rwanda and Uganda. At 4,127 meters, it is the third highest of the mountain range, which is part of the Albertine Rift, the western branch of the East African Rift. So tonight I'm gonna be sleeping in a hotel room. What? 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 I'm so excited. Uh, not that I haven't been sleeping the last two nights in a beautiful bed, but uh, I'm still happy I don't have to pitch my tent tonight because it's already what about six and it's quite cold up here. We are up in the mountains and the nights are chilly. So I have a bit of a surprise for you guys because I'm actually not going to stay on my own in this little hotel tonight. I am actually meeting up with someone whom I think you all know. It's a person who has been traveling all over southern part of Africa for the last, I think, about six months. And I'm excited to reveal who it is. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Kisoro in Western Uganda. Oh, it should be around here somewhere. Super, super. Where is it? Oh, sorry. Ah. There it is! Super Bistro and Guest House. Ah. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I know, always, eh? <laughs> On and off the motorbike. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Good yeah. to see you. Good to see you. My bike is parked over there. Behind the cars? Yeah. Cool, how are you doing? I'm tired, but good. Are you? Yeah, I'm oh, good, I'm good. Are you? Oh, I'm doing really good. This this ride was amazing. Yeah. Oh man, I need a beer. <laughs> I haven't had beer for days. Well, that was about to change. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Kisoro in southern Uganda. We're very close to the border to Rwanda. And when I say we, it's because this dude in here is here as well. Ta -da! The guy who loves coriander above oh, everything. <laughs> I'm going to buy uh, meals with full of coriander for him the next few days. This looks like my old bike. Aww. So we are heading to the Rwandan border now. It's only about 20 minutes. Yeah, max. We've done the usual, just preparing the border crossing. Hiding the drone. <laughs> so actually Martin here the drone in under his water bladder. Let's tell them I'm a professional smuggler. Yeah, he is a professional smuggler. <laughs> so this is exciting. Another day, What's another up? border crossing. Woo! <laughs> oh, I put all my documents in this backpack and then I am just about ready to leave. Here's my friend. He's been taking care of my bike all night. What is your name? I'm Robert. Robert? Yeah. Goodbye, Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at that. Always forget to close some bag. That's just how it is with me. Here we go. Rwanda is calling us. Look at that dude. <laughs> he is just as loaded as me. And I tell you, both Martin and I, we are actually traveling very light. It's just that our bikes are so small, so it just looks <laughs> like we are so heavily packed. But, you know, we both like the camping life. Oof. 
We both have cooking stuff. Well, not me anymore since mine is stolen. I think we need to go down that road there. Yes, this is where we are heading. Oh, it's even closer than I thought. It's just like 10 kilometers away. Being a border town, this place was really nice. Usually, I wouldn't want to stay like too close to borders, but I'm kind of moving away from that rule a little bit because I haven't had too many concerns when I've done it. So we are going to Sianica. Rwanda is calling. Oh my God. What number country is this? Do you remember? Is it 34 or 35? I actually don't remember anymore. I cross borders following a set of rules. First one is don't sleep at border towns. Show up early, eat before crossing or bring food and water, expect it to last all day, and make friends and take photos. Martin, he's been on the road now for nine months and we have, <laughs> we have been communicating quite a bit together because you know, we've been riding more or less the same route. We ride the same bike. Uh, it's even the same year. Uh, so sometimes we've been discussing like mechanical issues and he knows things that, that I don't know. And maybe I know things that he doesn't know and we've been helping each other get parts and stuff like that. We are also going to ship together to Oman. We have arrived at Kianika, the actual border town between Uganda and Rwanda. So first thing is always checking out of the country you're leaving, immigration and customs. How are you, sir? Excuse me. All right, service center, maybe it's there. Not sure. check real quick if it's here it's yeah it could be that this is like the covid uh, certificate part mm -hmm. want to go to immigration first yeah why not yeah Wh what is this one Customs. oh okay yeah yeah thank you we go to immigration first we need to explain for Rwanda plans not sure there might be a bank there there's no bank here ah but maybe on the other side we're good for now thanks but if i need it i'll come back to you I don't leave my bike anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, this looks immigration office. There we go. I cross the border with someone else. No, I know. I think it's the second time. I think it's also the second time for me. The first time was, was with Mark, I think. Thank you. Very nice. Very easy. And now we go over to customs again. Where we came from. You just check out the bikes. The cool thing is that we both have the East African visa, which means that we're not paying anything. Right? We're not paying anything today because we have the East African visa. Yeah, and there's no customs stuff to pay. So, first part of the border crossing has been done. We still need to go back there to the security officer and get like a little slip that would get us to the gate to leave Uganda. But otherwise, everything was really smooth. Just uh, the guy knew what to do with the carne we got stamped out at customs so we have officially left uganda now it's time to enter rwanda yay now one last step in uganda and we are out of here it's very quiet here huh but this is supposed to be quite a small border as well so that's probably why i don't see like huge line of trucks etc
Wow, that was elegant. See you next time. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> there it is there. Yeah, I, I could see it. <laughs> ah, really? Well, what about the car? Thank you. See you next time. Welcome to the Republic of Rwanda! Okay. I guess. <laughs> I always find a route to just like go around. Yeah. How are you? We leave the bikes here? Okay. Since there has been an Ebola outbreak in Uganda, there's an extra Ebola fever check at the Rwanda border. So first check in Rwanda is good. Our temperature was not indicating any kind of Ebola. Ay, my keys in my pocket, what am I doing? Thank you. So what do we have here? Customs office, perfect. Excuse me, madam. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> we are officially stamped into Rwanda. Was really nice and easy. Uh, the only thing unusual here is Ebola, Ebola checks, washing the hands, stuff like that. Walking through some disinfection water or something like that. Yeah. Otherwise, actually pretty easy border crossing so far. Yeah, I think so, um, yeah. So we, we've been told beforehand that they might like search our stuff and go through our things. That hasn't happened yet. I don't know when we get to the final gate. Let's, Let's see. see what they do. But we didn't get any small tickets or anything, did we? Nothing. No. I think we're free to go. I think so too. Yeah. That'd be good. Right. <laughs> See you next time. This was not a Rwandan welcome committee, but right after crossing the border, we randomly ended up in the middle of a community meeting. And we learned that these meetings take place every last Saturday of the month all over Rwanda. It is a place to discuss serious issues and problems that needs to be dealt with within the community. <laughs> So now the next step in the border crossing journey is to get a SIM card. Thank you. We both have a SIM card. Whee! So now we are, I feel fully accepted in Rwanda. So now we just have like 70 kilometers to Gisenji. That's gonna be a smooth ride. Well, not so smooth when you take off in the wrong direction. Oh! Oh, sorry, I, I was lost. <laughs>
Rwanda is the most densely populated country on mainland Africa. And no matter where we stop, at least 10 kids would pop out of nowhere. There is a way that way. Oh, it's a, it's like, um, it looks a little bit longer, to be honest. Hold on, let me just see how... Hello, madam. Hello. How are you? <laughs> it's 12 kilometer gravel. Yeah. We have arrived at this very nice little place. I put it like that, it's okay? Here? Thank you. What an awesome ride! It was a full 103 kilometers and all day. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we did a border crossing. We had food. We had a SIM card. I think we had money. I think we were actually pretty efficient. We have arrived at Mohabura Mountain Lodge. Yay! Well done, Martin. And I want to show you my room because it's really nice. And it is just 12 euro. Look at this, nice bed. There's a towel, uh, but there's no hot water, but that's fine. I'll just shower right away while I'm still really warm. This is exciting because, oh, thank you. Because it is the first night in Rwanda. On this motorcycle, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm classic. And I like the name because it's like so close to Danish that yeah, yeah, it can yeah. be. It's like God! S K O M. Oh, it's like an A with a dot about it. Yeah. I'm so happy right now. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching this video tonight. I'm a little bit drunk now and I still need to shower. <laughs> and the water is cold so I'm gonna have a cold shower. <laughs> I should have showered when I was still super hot and now I'm not because it's late and it's cold. But um, that's my mistake. Oh, sorry for being drunk but sometimes a ride like this just uh, just deserves a nice cold beer and then another and then another and then another. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to have a cold shower and then I'm going to go and have another and another and another. So if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up <laughs> and uh, write a comment and uh, subscribe, of course, subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.